Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. How you doing? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put on your Victoria wig. If you got the wig or if you wanted to get the wig or if you just want to know how I put on my wigs, then I will be showing you that in this video. It's very, very simple. I didn't do a lot to it. Uh, so I hope that it's easy to follow. We're gonna start off with our real hair. So this is my real hair and this is my Pop-Tart because I was hungry, sorry. Uh, this is my real hair. It's a little bit longer than the bob, but the reason why I wanted the bob is because my hair is really oily when it's old. So I needed some quick fixing. And so we're just gonna part our hair and kind of line it up. We want the part to kind of be where the part for the wig is. Not necessarily exactly where it is, but just close enough so that I can get the hair to lay on either side and it won't be bunchy where the part is so the part can lay flat. So the object of the game is to get your hair as flat as possible. Now, whatever you gotta do, necessary to get your hair to lay flat as possible. If you got a flat twist it, if you got a corn row, if you gotta slick it and flip it and smack it, whatever you gotta do to get it to lay flat, get it to lay flat. If your hair is not flat underneath, the wig will not sit right and then it'll look wiggy. And we don't want it to look wiggy. We want it to look like our hair, which is the purpose of having a wig that looks like our hair. So I left a little bit of hair on the perimeter out. Now I'm not gonna wear all of that hair out, which is why I'm tucking it underneath the wig cap. I'm going to be pulling it pulling some of it forward after I put my wig on. And you will see what I mean once I put the wig on. But I do this so that I can have a little bit of hair to blend with the hairline of the wig. The wig's hairline is very straight after I cut off the lace. Depending on how you cut the lace will depend on how the front of your wig is going to look. Um, and th this is the wig, this is Victoria. And um, so it, you have to make sure that you don't let it look too straight because otherwise it's gonna look very Barbie-like. So as you can see, the wig is a full lace wig. It's a glueless lace cap. It has combs and adjustable straps for your um, adjusting pleasure. And you are going to use those to adjust the wig to your head. Now you wanna make sure when you put the wig on that it is not too tight and it's not too loose. Either way will be a disaster later on throughout the day. So you wanna make sure that it's not too tight, not too loose. Before you slide the combs in, make sure you line the part up where you want your part to be. I usually line my part up with the highest peak of the arch of my brow. Taking that rat tail comb again, I'm pulling my edges forward a little bit. And this is why I said I left out my edges from the twisting because I wanted to make sure that I didn't pull that hair too hard because you know your hair in the front is a little bit thinner and fragile, more fragile than the rest of your hair. So you don't wanna be pulling it out of braids and stuff, which is why I left it untwisted. And so I'm just pulling that forward so that it can line up my part. I shifted my wig back a little bit off of my hairline and I'm pulling that hair forward. And that's pretty much it. Um, you just wanna make sure that it looks seamless, that it all flows together. It's not bunched up or going in different directions. And um, I'm still trying to line this hair up, okay? We're, we're lining the hair up. Lining the hair up, line it, okay, comb it back, all right. Slide it through, make it look nice, make it match, yes. My edges are a little puffy, guys. I did not feel like putting on any edge control, but I would suggest putting on edge control if you want the hair to look, you know, popping or whatever, but I was not feeling edge control today. I just put the wig on. So, as you can see, it looks pretty good. You know, got the ear tucking situation going on. I like to tuck my hair behind my ears. I feel like that makes it look a little more natural, a little more me, you know? So as you can see at the top, it is a little bit poofed, just a little bit. So we're gonna take our curling wand and I have this hot curling wand that I'm running down the side of my hair and I'm basically uh, checking my watch because it's time to go. I'm just running that down the sides of my hair down my head so that it lays as flat as possible. Um, but the washing technique is just as easy as this. You just wash the hair, put it on a wig cap, tie it down overnight, it'll be flat. But I feel like this wig is really good, guys. I feel like you don't have to do all of that. I, all I had to do the first time I wore it was do this. So this is what I'm doing. And um, if you have a little bit of balding or sparse hairs at the top, I would suggest getting some brown eyeshadow or dark brown eyeshadow shadow that matches your hair color and putting that over the part where your hair is not matching up with the density of the wig this will make it appear as though you have a lot of hair there so that it blends a little bit better 
Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. If you've ever seen men get their hair lines filled in, this is basically essentially what I'm doing. So that's pretty much it. After that, you are done. You're ready to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know. All the information you need will be in the description box. All right, bye guys.